Welcome to lecture 9.1, Introducing Ross Actions. A Ross action is effectively a function one node, the action server, asynchronously provides to other nodes, the clients. Note this is just like a service, but with the asynchronicity of a topic. Like a service, an action has a goal and a result, but unlike a service, an action also provides feedback during execution. This makes actions more suitable for goal-oriented tasks that take time, such as 1. Navigating to a location, 2. Performing a complex manipulation, or 3. Performing a long calculation. So these are just a few examples, but um, these are things that we might want to do that would take a lot of time, and we don't want, uh, as we would with a service, to wait for um, this to, to occur. We don't want the node to be just, the client to just be sitting there waiting for it. So um, we, can, we can do an action asynchronously. An example action type definition. In this section, we develop a custom action type definition timer in action slash timer dot action for an action that has as input a duration to wait, which we're going to call name time to wait, output an actual duration waited, time elapsed, and a total integer uh, a number of feedback updates sent, called update sent and also has um, as feedback a duration waited so far called time elapsed and a duration left to wait called time remaining okay so those those are the things we were going to want to do with this timer <clears throat> a little note here though the timer action is for demonstration purposes only and shouldn't be used to implement timing in a ROS graph for timing use rospy.sleep as we have in the past, um, but a nice thing about the you know this timer action we're creating is that we can um, demonstrate all of the interesting aspects of of uh, an action. So that's why we're doing that. We create a new package for this chapter called My Actions, which shadows the package included with the book Rico Actions. So, in your workspace's source directory, use catkin create package to create a package as follows. We'll actually follow along with these instructions now over in the, the virtual machine. So, we want to go to our workspace, so cd Okay, and uh, we want to go down to our repository that we've been working in. So um, in the source directory, uh, somewhere, wherever we, it is we'd like this package to be created. So let's actually cd down into source. And for me, I want to put this in the example repository. So it'll be here with my other, my actions, my services, my topics. Um, I'll actually uh, trash this my actions. It's, I'm going to recreate it here. So now there is no my actions package. So I'll do catkin create package. My actions. Oh, uh, this is a typo over here. It should be my actions, obviously. So um, we're disregarding this typo that uh, my services is in there. Um, We'll do catkin create package my actions and then um, ross cpp ross pi and action lib messages great so now we have a my actions um, <clears throat> package showing up there let's cd down into it Right. We've got our CMake lists and our package.xml um, as usual. So let's let's uh, uh, explore a little bit 
how we create an action definition file for this package. So from your package root, create this uh, action definition file with the direct with the um, uh, command. We'll we'll make the directory first. It's called action, and this is the directory that that um, we should create. We should call it action. That's the standard usage. So, uh, and then we'll also create a file in it, action timer dot action, <clears throat> and then we'll edit it. And we want to include three sections here. So. The three sections are for inputs, outputs, and feedback, and they're delineated with this uh, three dash delimiter. So, so I don't mess up any of the spelling on anything. I'll copy and paste this, but we'll go through each one here. Okay, so didn't didn't come in with all the spacing. Okay, so, so for inputs we have a duration, um, which is a uh, type of quantity, and we'll call it time to wait. So um, this is going to be the amount of time that our client is going to request the action to wait, um, and then for outputs we'll give it the time elapsed and then the number of updates that have been sent um, and those updates sent are actually feedback here so the feedback that we'll be sending as updates as we wait for this timer to be finished will be the time elapsed so far and the time remaining both durations so we define that using this timer.action file <clears throat> and if we then up over here, um, we will move on to the next section, which is to update the build system configuration. So, uh, as with as with uh, when we added a new service or a new topic, we needed to update our build configuration so that we had all the right packages and um, in the package of XML and the CMake lists. Um, we'll have to do that here as well. So since we used the action lib messages for creating uh, the, the package, when we use our cat can create package command, um, we, did, we don't need to do as much as we would. Um, we actually don't have to touch the package of XML at all. Um, we can just leave that alone. So let's uh, uh, just take a glance here. If we hadn't included this action lib messages, we would need to add these lines to our to our uh, uh, cat can create package. Um, but in our in our build um, dependencies. But since we don't uh, need to, um, we'll skip that step. And we'll pop down to the CMake lists. So <clears throat> under CMake list, we actually have to make several changes. The action lib messages will show up under a find package because we used it in the cat can create package command. So we don't need to do that. But the rest we have to do manually to find the add action files block. So subl CMake lists to edit this CMake lists here. Um, notice action lib messages does show up under find package. So that's nice. Um, but then we need to find the the uh, add action files. There we go here it is. Uh, we can uncomment this section by deleting these <clears throat> pound signs. Add action files, and then we need to add our action file, which is timer dot action. Action one and action two are just examples. So timer dot action and then the next thing we need to do is 
find uh, generate messages. So we need to have dependencies, action lib messages, and standard messages under generate messages. So let's look there. The next one down. We'll uncomment it. And we have action lib messages showing up. Um, let's do std messages as well. Great. And um, the next is catkin package. We need to make sure action lib messages is showing up under catkin package. So uh, we have <coughs> this line here. So we can we can just uncomment that line. It it commented it. It did include action lib messages here, but it left it commented. So we can just uncomment that and we're good to go. So we've we've updated our build system. Now <clears throat> we do cat can make, we should have this um, this action available to us. And when the when the cat can uh, make does its work, it actually creates several message definition files that are based on the file name of our uh, message definition. So they start out with timer in our case. And um, we, and then also some different Python uh, uh, functions as well. So these are, these are um, automatically generated. So we don't have to really look at them as long as we know what they're going to be. Um, we'll, we'll learn how to use them in lecture 9.2. Um, but for completion here, let's just go ahead and <clears throat> make sure everything builds okay. So in the workspace source, or, or uh, root directory of the workspace, not the source directory, we can do cat can make. Now let's just make sure that this does in fact build just fine. Um, generate messages that works just fine so we should be good to go